What's going on you guys? My name's Ruth and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys five things I learned during my first year of college. Number one, it's okay to be nervous. I was very, very nervous during college, but everybody's in the same boat as you. A lot of people have not been to college before that are freshmen, so it's definitely okay to be nervous. I was super nervous. I was very freaked out about the idea of going to college. It was a new experience, but it's a new experience for a lot of people. So being nervous about college is completely normal. I really struggled with being nervous for going, with going to school, but I realized that it's okay. There are a lot of people in the same boat as me, so I'm not the only one who's nervous. Number two, study. So during my first year, during my first semester actually, I had this really difficult professor that kind of just had three tests for our grade. So we had to study our butts off with the lectures and the textbook, and that's about all we had. So we had to study our butts off. So after that, I kind of caught on that you really have to study during college. It's just not going to be a breeze. It's not a walk in the park. You really have to study and make an effort for you to pass some of these classes. The harder the classes get, the junior and senior level classes are going to be much harder than what the freshman and sophomore level classes are so you really have to get a good study pattern down and by now I've actually realized that and I've discovered a very good study pattern for me but you really have to study and that's something I'm glad I realized early. Number three, it's not like high school. So this goes into the studying thing but college is not like high school. You really have to study in high school. I did a minimal amount of studying and I got by very well because a lot of the classes were easy, like English, which I loved English, but compared to the two page paper I had to write for English, I had to write a five or six page paper for my college level English, so that would take me a lot longer compared to this, compared to my high school English. It would take me a lot longer to write a paper for college English than high school English, so they are definitely different. They're they are not alike. College is much harder than high school. You have to put in more effort, which when it came to that first semester, it kind of just like, I had to put in more effort. I have to study more. I have to, put all, and I have to dedicate a lot of time to studying, but I'll be fine. I just have to balance my time wisely. And in high school, I had an easier time balancing my time. But in college, it's much more difficult to balance your time because you have much more going on usually, whether it's work or studying for five or six classes or maybe even four classes but the harder the classes are the more you need to study for those classes so the classes just get harder so i realized that you just have to it's not like high school the studying and the classes are not like high school it does get harder but you just have to manage time wisely number four use your time wisely so during my first semester, I actually got a big whiteboard that had the dates on it and I could write what I needed to on the big whiteboard so I could balance my time very wisely when it came to work, school, and a bunch of other things I had going on and that I still have going on. So I just write that out and balance it all to the best of my abilities and it's my best friend now. That whiteboard I still have to this day and I balance everything still. But it's like your best friend, a cork board or a whiteboard or a planner are definitely considered your best friend. And using your time wisely is a great thing in college. And those whiteboards help me use my time wisely, help me balance my time with other things I need to do. So that's something I really realized during my first semester and my first year of college that you really just have to balance things out and use your time to the best of your abilities. Number five don't overstudy. So this goes into the first year and even the second year. So when you overstudy, you don't retain the information that you want to remember. Overstudying, I did a lot of overstudying my first year for my biology class and then for my math class. I just wanted to know this information so I kept practicing, I kept studying. But if you study too long, if you, and if you try to practice so much, sometimes it'll just stop. You just won't remember this information because you're overstudying yourself you are overdoing it and there is such a thing as overdoing it if you try to study too much more than what your brain can handle and if you don't sleep and if you 
just try to keep going sometimes you will forget what you're trying to remember so you have to take breaks and I had to take a lot of breaks during studying for my math and my biology class because I was studying so much that it would just go in one ear and out the other and I just wouldn't remember it so I would have to take larger breaks and not study for hours on end because it would do more harm than good I wouldn't remember what I'm trying to study and I'd have to go back and restudy that rather than having studied it and remembered it so I'd have to restudy it and it cause more time than what I could be spending on another chapter instead of taking breaks and being careful with my studying so don't overstudy it's not worth overstudying to remember something when you could just go for a little bit longer take a big break or take a small break when you could re-energize and repower and then go back to studying a little bit later just don't overstudy so that's the five things i learned during my first year of college so thank you guys so much for watching this video and as usual you guys i'll see you guys next time in the next video so see you guys later